Yo, what's popping? I'm here with my grandma's package behind me. Uh, so shout out to her. She's just so real. Um, and also with the look at the Boston Uprising after the kickoff clash. So 10th seed, 2-4 and four with a minus 6 map differential. But you'll notice they were taking maps left and right. That's a lot of maps taken for a team that's gone. That, that, that's down this low, maybe. Uh, so first week, they went beat Vancouver 3-2 in a banger toilet bowl series. They lose to the Glads 3-1. They lose to London 3-1. They lose to Toronto 3-1. They beat the Washington Justice 3-1 after this was like Justice stocks were kind of at their highest, I think. Or maybe they lost the game before that. Regardless, I don't remember. It looked good. And we were like, oh, what's this? What's this? What's going on here? But Washington just did not show up. <laughs> it's standard Washington fashion. And then they lose 3-0 to the Dallas Fuel. But there was some fight there. It wasn't a complete stomp. Dallas had to play. Like, they didn't have to just show up. They had to actually fight back, you know? But kind of a rough stage for Boston. They definitely improved a lot throughout this stage. Uh, of course, they dropped Stryker, and then they immediately win. They dropped Marvel because he wanted... There were some reasons he wanted to go back to Korea, I believe. But... So, losing Stryker seems to have helped his team. Maybe he was trying to be a bit too much. Uh, maybe a little too... Maybe he wanted the team to go a different direction than they did or something. I'm not sure, but... I think the team will be better for it. Team being uh, Victoria Valentine DPS line with Punk or Itzel on tank and Faith Crimzo MCD on support. So the DPS line, uh, that is what it is now. There's no more striker rotation. It's all right. I do worry about Valentine playing the Widow. I, I haven't seen a lot of great stuff from Valentine on Widow. Uh... I hope they remain playing Crimzo more than MCD. I think Crimzo is just better. And I'd never want to see the Punky. The Punky needs to die. The, that needs to stop. There can be no more Punky. Um, and Itzel has looked all right on Monkey. I haven't, I haven't, I don't know. He's been all right, maybe. Uh, I wouldn't, I don't rate him too highly. He's just kind of there. So, why did this team struggle so much? Out the gate, there was just, there was a lot of dysfunction. They were playing, they had three tanks and three supports and three DPS, right? So, three, 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 which. You know, that sounds that sounds good. That sounds like maybe ideal almost. But they kept there was they were coming in at weird times. Their swaps are far too much. You ended up with Punk playing a lot of Doomfist, but Marvel also came in and played Doomfist. Itzel pretty much only played Monkey the whole time. Then Punk comes in and plays Monkey. What's going on here with this rotation? They never had that down pat until they let go of two of their guys. Uh there was a time where Crimzo was sick, so MCD had to play and that week wasn't great. But they, they just had no clue what they were doing. They, were, they didn't know what they wanted to do, it felt like. And they never really figured it out towards the end. And I'm happy they did. Because there's no world in which you look at Punk, see him on Winston, and think that you're doing an okay job coaching, right? Surely not. Like, I'm sure it, it's not the end of the world. I'm sure he could pick it up and be all right at it. But right now, you have a, a monkey player. That's his only guy that he plays. Why is Punk on it? Why is Punk on it? There's just no need. But they got their stuff together. They're looking better. And this is a team that's on the come up, I think. I think two and four is a little low for them, but I don't think they can, I don't think like four and two is realistic. I think like, you know, three three is an alright spot for Boston. But looking into the next stage, we see they play Atlanta Shock right off the bat. That's gonna be a rough week. They play Paris. Winnable. Should be very winnable. Although I do wonder if Paris will have improved as well. Uh, Florida, then Houston, New York. So we have, I'd say, there's some winnable matches here. I don't think it's outside the realm of possibility to beat Florida or Houston. I do favor both those teams, but it's not it's not outside of possibility. But the problem with this team is, oh, where is their star? Where's their star player here? Where is their guy that's you, you will take to clutch up in overtime to uh, one to one? 99.99 on Koth. Where is your guy? It was Striker. Who's it now? You don't really have a guy to do that. Or we haven't seen any of these guys do it. And that's that's where like we say teams can punch up. I don't I don't know if this team can do that. It's like I think London can punch up. I think even Vancouver, if they get if they if they improve, they can punch up just because of the DPS line star power. But this roster, I don't see them being able to punch up. I think they just are where they are. That makes any sense. They have the least potential. They have the least potential as the teams in the lower 
lower seeds. And I'm sure getting rid of Stryker was the right decision for this team. Maybe it helped their mental. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know entirely what was going on, right? But they definitely lost something. They, they did lose something. Stryker is not an re easily replaceable character. Or character? Player. And I, I don't know. I don't see the star potential. So I think that they can be Paris. I think they can be New York. Can they can they have a, a win against Houston? If Houston's playing like just like standard Houston gameplay? Maybe. Can they be Florida? Maybe. But I, I struggle to see... I struggle to see the improvement that they make to to, ma to match Florida. Uh, so my outlook on Boston, not great, and I don't see. I, I just this roster, something's it's not fully there. You know what I mean? I don't know. But uh, we have seen improvements from them week to week. I hope we continue to see it, and I hope that they can come out of the basement. But I think two four. 3-3 is actually where I would put this team after after making this video. I, I can't see them having a much better stage than that. If they have a 4-2 stage, that'd be bonkers for these for this team. That'd be insane. That's a massive W for this team. Anyway, that's it for me. Give this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more Overwatch League content. And uh, have yourself a good one.